Hello and welcome to the video. This is a quick video to try something out and I'm interested in your feedback. Now this is the Cadix peanut camera. Now I did a review of it a couple of weeks ago now. It is a version of the Go 2 with a bigger battery for longer flight time and it has some extra things. So for example it has this little adapter that can go on the back and I have wired mine up to a uh, balance tap for a 4S battery which means it can be powered all the time. Now, I said in that video, actually, what I'd really loved was for this to be a little bit cheaper and also to not have a battery in at all, similar to what Beta FPV did on this particular camera. This is the SMO 4K. I love this a lot. Now, both of these cameras share one little quirk, is that the stabilization that you do within the camera, you have to do the stabilization in post using the Insta360 Studio program. And in that original video, there were some comments about some jerkiness in some of the footage. And this is because when you come to render the video, you can save the bit rate for the video that you're about to render down. And YouTube does some weird things sometimes, the bit rate. Uh, with the really high bit rates, I even get a little bit of stuttering on my machine when I'm playing it back. But I thought what I'll do let me render up the same video that I've still got the file for in Insta Studio 220, like I did originally, in a number of bit rates. And I'll play them, and you can tell me which one looks the best to you. The interesting thing is, I've tried to get this camera to work with Insta 360 Studio 2021 edition, and whereas it's still very happy to work with the SMO 4K camera and import the files from that, uh, importing the files from this camera at the moment caused it to crash. So I'm just having to stick with the Insta uh, 360 Studio 2020 edition. So let me just show you the videos and pop a comment down below and let me which. Let me know which one looks the best. The trick, of course, is that it's a trade-off between the bit rate. The higher the bit rate, the more detail there is in the image, but potentially the more stuttering. And then the other end of the spectrum, the lower the bit rate, you get to the point where you actually start to sacrifice quality in some of the image as well. So there's a natural sweet spot. So anyway, let me play these videos. Pop a comment down below and let me know which one you prefer.
Thank you for spending your time today watching that video. You can find me in all the usual places on social media. And if you're trying to learn about a subject, then check out the playlist. All of my videos are organized into easy to follow playlists that if you're trying to learn a topic, will take you from the basics right the way through to some pretty advanced stuff.